Hello and welcome! This video is about the story called, in the outfit section, Outfit Jordine and Jarrett. But before I get to that, I want to show you the requirements. So what we need to do is unlock Hadoom, have 8000 CP or higher, and receive Crucio Domingot's Amity Achievement Reward. And if that sounded like a mouthful, uh, yeah, it was. So 8,000 CP or higher is pretty easy to follow. Unlocking Hadoom, let's show you where you need to be in the main storyline to unlock Hadoom. Here we go. So if you're in the game and you hit the menu screen and you look at the very bottom left corner of the interface, you will see the words open requirement. So go ahead and tap on that and then scroll down until you see this part right here family quest necessary supplies you need to finish this and then you will unlock hadoom as well as many other things so this is where you need to be for one of the requirements so what we're going to do now is go on to the next part and that is receive crucio domingot's amity achievement reward now, I want to be very detailed with this part right here because, quite honestly, who is he and where is he located? And if you follow the beginning storyline, you might recognize that last name of Domingat. So, I'm going to break it down for you. Here we go. So, there is two ways to accomplish this goal. One is, I simply tell you where he's at and you learn nothing on how to find him or i could show you how i discovered where he's at and that is you go to western guard camp to jaret domingat and there she is right there and when you talk to her you see that she has a quest right here for ancient stone chamber report deliver it to crucio domingat and spoiler alert that is her father so let us tell you where he's at now. You can find him over in Serendia in the city of Heidel. And according to the map, this is where he's located. Or you can simply access the list of names and you'll see Crucio Domingat and you just tap on him and you'll go right to him. So that's step one. Step two is getting his reward for amity and i'll explain what that means here we go so once you tap on amity you'll be presented with this screen in the red box you'll see the amity level that you need to increase to get to where that gift is and that is the goal of what you're here to do you do this by the three things in the right hand side interests quest or gift now, if it's interest, you spend stamina points to, uh, you know, talk to him, and it increases your amity level. Quests, you will be running around and increasing the amity level at a higher pace, or you can give gifts. If you look to the left of the word interest, there are three pictures. These are the gifts that he is looking for to increase his amity level and i'm going to show you a picture of what they are but you need to know where you go to get these gifts if this is all new to you this is of interest so let's go ahead and show you where the gift vendor is and in every city you will see if you pull up the list of names the gift vendor so for heidel it would be this gentleman right here and when you go into his shop or go into it, you'll see that he has gifts to offer. You see the circle in the bottom left corner where it says update. If you don't see the gifts you're looking for, you can spend stamina and tap on that and he'll refresh his shop. You can only do it 20 times. But this is what you're looking for. It is a gold bookmark, a fragrant black tea leaf, and a hanging bell now I don't know how much silver you have but if you are able to buy a lot of this it would be uh, helpful to get that amity level up so this is where you go to get the gifts to do that so let's return back to his interface 
and I'm gonna show you what I did. Here we go. So here we are, and here's the interest, and then we uh, have the quest, which I didn't want to do, but I want to show you that when you have one of the gifts, it's worth one Amity point. So you really need a lot of gifts to get it up uh, all the way up to the level you need. Yeah, and what I'm showing you is that each one of the gifts is just one Amity point. So rather than run around doing the quests, I settled on the interest because I had the stamina. And the stamina is low. It's like, you know, as low as five uh, per. But look at that. It gives plus three for Amity. So I ended up doing this. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video so you don't have to sit through watching me spend my stamina to get the bar all the way raised. Here we go. And we are just about there uh, at the gift where we want to be. So just another uh, interest or two and that should trigger it. And there it is. Crucio Domingat's gift. So you tap on receive gift. And perfect. So now you have completed the third requirement in doing this storyline. Congratulations. And the game is going to reward you by going straight into, hey, would you like to do the story? And there it is, Jordine and Jaret. And let's go ahead and begin the story. Here we go. And now that the storyline has begun, I just wanted to say real quick that I will be quiet during this so you can enjoy it. And the only thing I'm going to do is just speed up the transition from one spot to another so you can... Keep going. Here we go.
so I wanted to show you that the suggested CP is 8,200 for this part and the monsters are in the high 7,800s up to 8,000 and for the quest you need to kill 3,000 of these creatures so what I'm gonna do is just cut right to where we're just about done killing 3,000 here we go Yeah, sorry about this part. I wanted to see what the uh, cloaked figure looked like, so I took a little moment to uh, zoom in and see if I can see what he looks like. We all know who it is, and that's all we're getting. Eh, kind of cool. And just like the fight before, uh, we're going to speed past, but I want you to know that 7,300 CP is the recommended uh, level for this part of the quest, or the storyline, and you need to kill 2,000 of them. So we're just going to cut right to where we just about finished 2,000. Here we go.
and congratulations for completing the storyline. There it is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to enter our crafting section and show you what is needed to craft this outfit. Here we go. So I have some good news for you and some bad news for you. Uh, congratulations in doing the storyline. That's the good news. All the free loot that you got was perfect. The bad news is crafting this piece of armor is not going to be easy. There is requirements for this as well. And let's go ahead and knock out the easiest one, which is the artisan scheme. You get this by doing your bounty missions. And when you are looking through which one you want to choose, you will see that the reward is for two artisan schemes. So this is the only place I saw so far in the game, unless there's special events where you can get it. So you want to focus on building up your stash of this, doing your bounty missions. And let's move on to the next part. So let's tackle the premium hardened leather next. And that can be acquired once you do the storyline outfit and afternoon in Serendia. And once you complete that quest, then you want to go into your camp and access your ranch. And then you want to fill up your ranch with all sorts of sheep or guanaco. It is your choice. I chose to do it with sheep because uh, buying them is cheaper than guanaco. And as you can see from this slide, it does take a long time to butcher the sheep or guanaco that are in your ranch. So this is a test of patience and time. You just need to put them in, get them butchered. You will get anywhere from one to maybe four premium hardened leather at a time. So once again, it is possible. I'm gonna show you a image of how much I've saved ever since that quest came out. And as you can see, I have a very nice stack of it for any outfit now and in the future that Pearl Abyss wants to release to us. So this is a process you want to get going and build up your stack of premium hardened leather. So let's move on to the third requirement. Here we go. So the last requirement is the Belusi Ruby. And what you need to do is complete the story, Town Outfit Calfion Robes. And this one I haven't even completed myself, uh, so the CP requirement could be a little high, but at least you are aware of what needs to be done. Here's the requirements for it. And it says, available after you complete main quest, Shady Bipach and Lebanese quest in Forsaken Lands. So once that is done, then you will complete this and be able to access having your guys in your camp go do mining. And then while they do that, they can get a ruby for you. It will be a drop that happens when you send them off constantly doing mining. Now there is another way to do this. I don't recommend it, but I just want to show you if you went to the market and wanted to buy one, this is how much it costs. It's a bit pricey. So now that you understand how to get all three pieces to make this robe, let's go ahead and go to our outro. Here we go. So on behalf of Archmage and myself, I do want to say thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like these videos, please subscribe, like, let people know. And if you did collect all three pieces to craft this outfit, congratulations. So in the meantime, thank you once again for watching, and you have a great day. Take care. Bye now.